The excrete tree system. The learning intention, I will understand how changes in scientific knowledge have helped solve human health issues. Let's have a think about kidney disease. The causes of kidney disease are quite varied. They can include high blood pressure, uncontrolled diabetes, that's a disease where you can't control how much sugar is dissolved in your blood, perhaps trauma, like a car accident or a bike accident, or extremes of diets, maybe high sugar, high salt, they might cause problems with your kidneys. If you have kidney disease, you fail to filter the blood correctly. So on the left here, we have a healthy kidney, and as blood with wastes enters the kidney, the blood that leaves the kidney has been cleaned, and the wastes have gone into the urine. Whereas the damaged kidney here on the right, dirty blood or blood with wastes in enters the kidney, but the damaged kidneys are unable to produce urine with waste in, so the waste stays in the blood, which is going to cause toxic effects in the person. Another problem we have with kidneys is kidney stones. So you can see little crystals here forming in the kidney, perhaps because the diets are particularly salty, and those crystals cause pain as they enter the pelvis of the kidney, as they get stuck in the ureter, and also as they leave in the bladder. Now, treatment for kidney stones can be laser treatment where um, a laser is blasted at these little stones, these little crystals, and tries to break them up into smaller pieces. The two technologies we're going to concentrate on are kidney dialysis and kidney transplant. And there are pros and cons of each of these methods, um, and we will discuss those too. So here's dialysis. Dialysis is where we use a machine to filter the blood because the kidney is not filtering the blood properly. So we take blood from the patient here and we actually pass it through a dialyzer. So this is a special kind of filtering unit where the dirty blood is entering the filtering unit and you can see here that wastes are leaving in the dialysate, which is the fluid in the uh, dialyzing machine and clean blood is able to enter back into the patient. So we are dialyzing the blood and clean blood is entering back into the patient here. And any dirty wastes that come out of the blood are taken away and fresh uh, dialyzing fluid is brought in to take more wastes from the patient. And this is great. This can be done at home. This can be done in the hospital. However, it needs to be done quite frequently. So the patient needs to turn up to hospital um, every few weeks uh, sit on the machine for several hours, uh, which can be uncomfortable. It's quite limiting, can't walk around. Um, there's possibility of infection because you're having blood taken out of you. Um, they try and manage that. Um, but it's quite, it can be quite tedious and you have to do it for the whole of your life uh, because your kidneys are damaged and they're not working properly. Here's a transplant. We can, we can take uh, kidneys out of the living person. So a person can survive with only one kidney. Uh, the kidney that's left will get slightly bigger to compensate um, and we can put it into a person whose other kidneys might be damaged. You can just graft it in, uh, give it a blood supply from the um, artery and the vein here and attach it to the bladder. So this kidney, um, so long as it is accepted by this new patient, so it needs to be matched carefully so the body doesn't reject it as a foreign um, item in the body. Um, once it's grafted in and it's been accepted by the body, this will last for life. So the disadvantage is you have to go through major surgery. You have to have a donor, and the donor has to be very carefully matched in terms of blood type and genetics so that your body does not reject that kidney. But once it's there, it's there for life. You've just got to be careful with your diet and maybe take some drugs to support that kidney being there, but that's got to be a lot better than turning up to hospital frequently for dialysis. So here are some pros and cons of dialysis and kidney transplantation that you can have a read of when you pause the video. So those are pros and here are some cons.